Hey everyone, Mayhem Prone here for the Mayhem Prone Show, where today, I've always really enjoyed Spike in his episodes. But even I can admit that some of his adventures have been less than adequate. So today, we're going to be looking at the top 5 worst Spike episodes, in my opinion. I have to emphasize that I'll be ranking these episodes based on their quality, but I'll be focusing on how Spike is portrayed. Also, there will possibly be minor spoilers, so keep that in mind. And please remember that this is just my opinion. If you like any of these episodes, more power to you. I'd love to hear your opinions and rankings down in the comment section below. And with that out of the way, let's get right into the list. <laughs> Equestria Games. Now I have to start off by saying that I actually like this episode. It just narrowly missed out on being on the top 6 best Spike episodes. The concept of an Equestrian Olympic Games is really cool, but the episode itself tends to be somewhat dull. I've never been a big fan of episode where Spike is just self-loathing for the entire time, but it's not a deal breaker. So what about this episode drops it down to the worst list? Well, the answer comes from one scene in the episode where Spike is trying to sing the Cloudsdale National Anthem, which may be the cringiest moment in the entire show's history. The scene starts off somewhat funny, but then you start to see the pain on everyone's faces, and you begin to sympathize with Spike. This ushers in a wave of cringe so large that I just had to stop and sit for 20 minutes to let it wear off. Overall, the episode is just average, but this cringe moment causes it to be number 5 on the list. <laughs> Princess Spike Now many of you will be surprised because the community considers this to be the worst Spike episode, but it's really not that bad. In fact, the first 11 minutes are actually pretty good. Spike is soon to be nice and trying to help Twilight Sparkle in any way he can, but the problems start occurring after those 11 minutes. Spike's sudden desire for power is understandable, but that does not make it entertaining. This brought down the episode as a whole, but the thing that made me really not like it was the ending. Before Spike became corrupt, he actually helped Twilight by quieting down construction and games. Once Spike gave in to his inner desires, he had himself massaged and fed gems. My big problem is, at the end of the episode, his downfall is caused by him stopping the construction and games. This means that Spike was punished for doing deeds of good intentions, and never suffered any consequences for his selfish actions. That's really twisted. When he had good intentions, he got in trouble, but when he had bad intentions, he got off scot-free. This horrible moral ruins the episode for me, and earns its place at number 4. <laughs> Al's Well That Ends Well. It turns out that Spike's first adventure is one of his worst. And unlike the last two episodes, I dislike this mostly because of Spike. He is portrayed to be extremely jealous throughout the entire episode. The big problem is that this is the only episode in the entire series to portray Spike as having a problem with serious jealousy. This makes Spike seem both extremely unlikable and extremely out of character. And even before he gets jealous, Spike acts like a praise-seeking jerk. And what really annoys me is the fact that the entire plot in conflict is completely pointless. Midway through the episode, Flareside comes up with the idea that Spike may be jealous. The episode could have ended right here with the main six going in and confronting Spike about his jealousy, but then Twilight explained how Spike would never become that jealous. So in the scene, not only did the writers artificially extend the plot, but they admitted that they were writing Spike out of character. So the message of overcoming jealousy would have made a lot more sense if the subject had been Twilight Sparkle or Rainbow Dash, because they've both been shown to struggle with jealousy throughout the show. Overall, this episode suffers from having terrible writing, and more than deserves its spot at number 3 on this list. <laughs> Dragon Quest. Now many of you who have been subscribed to me for a long time will be surprised that this is only number 2, considering in the past I have called this the worst episode in the entire series. Now my main reason for hating this episode are several undertones promoting racism against dragons. All of the other dragons in the episode are portrayed as being any combination of stupid, greedy, and evil. The only reason it's avoiding the number one spot is because I'm focusing much more on the portrayal of Spike rather than the implications of the episode. But it turns out this episode also sucks in just about every other category. It is overall really mean-spirited and all the new characters are irredeemably unlikable. 
The only dragon that is at all memorable is this jerk whose name I can't even remember. Spike starts out pretty good in this episode. You feel really sympathetic for him when he has to put up with these terrible dragons. But when he wins the tail wrestling contest, he instantly goes from sympathetic and likable to overconfident and unlikable. This is just the tip of the iceberg. I could talk for hours about how much I hate this episode. It is my least favorite in the entire series. Admittedly, Princess Spike and Owlswell at Innswell portrayed Spike as a worse character in this episode, but I couldn't just ignore how terrible it was. But unfortunately, there is still one episode that shows Spike in a worse light than any other on this list, and that is... <laughs> Spike at your service. We've had many episodes where one of the main cast has been written out of character. But never have the writers missed the mark by such a wide margin as they did in this episode. In just about every episode that Spike has been in, period, he has been shown to be an amazing worker. In fact, in All's Well That Ends Well, the episode actually started with the entire main six explaining that he was practically the perfect worker. So all the writers came together and thought it was a brilliant idea to make an entire episode where one of the main conflicts was about how bad of a worker Spike was. And while they were at it, they decided why not we just add in some terrible CGI, everyone will like that. Ooh ooh ooh, and while we're at it, we'll make Spike extremely whiny and annoying. Ooh, and to finish it all off, we'll give it a terrible and pointless story where we have to create several new concepts that'll never be mentioned again, like Spike's Dragon Code, just so that the episode'll make sense. That's a great idea! No, no it's not. I don't think I've ever seen an episode of MLP where the writing just fails so badly. It was like the writers were trying to make an episode to show the friendship between Applejack and Spike, but they had amnesia and couldn't remember who either of the characters were, so they just started from scratch. Not only do they portray Spike as a terrible worker, but Applejack tries to trick Spike so he'll stop helping her. I don't know, that seems a little dishonest. The entire middle of the plot is just filler, so you could have easily made this an 11 minute episode. In fact, it could have been shorter than that. But when you take everything into account, the episode itself is not completely terrible. It's not spectacular either, it's just mediocre. But it does have the honor of screwing up Spike's character more than any other episode in the entire show. But what do you think? Do you like Spike? Do you like his episodes? How would you rank his episodes? Tell me in the comment section down below. Please join me again in two weeks when I rank the top six best Spike episodes. Please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can be notified of all my future uploads. And until next time, I'm Mayhem Prone from the Mayhem Prone Show, and goodbye! I just started playing Kid Icarus Uprising on the 3DS, and it's so fun!